Who doesn't love Italian food? And Chef Vic Rallo, the host of Eat Drink Italy on PBS, knows a thing or two about the old world cuisine. Hey, put that glass down, Alex Dennis. Oh, Alex Dennis is already going for the wine. Oh, he's back also maternity leave, so I can actually <laughs> have some. He's also, double fisting. He's also the owner of two New Jersey eateries, Basil Tea's Brewery and Italian Grill, and Undici Taverna Rustica. And he's here to show us some of his favorite recipes today. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Now that we got through all of that, let's get cooking. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let's start with the stuffed artichokes. Okay, so artichokes people get confused by, you know. They're very they're, intimidating. Yeah, so I cut the bottom, okay. cut the top, and I clean the inside. Mm -hmm. And I made a stuffing with ciabatta, grana padana, one of the great hard cheeses of Italy. Mm -hmm. I caramelized garlic, onion, and then parsley, and I made a mix. Okay. And then you just, after oh, you clean you out the inside, you spread the leaves. Yeah, so that's more intense than the one right? I make. I said, yeah, bread crumbs, right. parmesan cheese, and my then, mom taught me. And then, <laughs> and then you just want to push so into the artichoke. So you should be scared to like separate it and push no, that one, in No, once there. you cut the leaves with the scissor, you're not going to get poke, nothing, okay. easy. Mm -hmm. And some people want to steam these before, never steam them before. Really? Oh. Cook everything in the pot, in the get pot. the flavor of the artichoke. Oh. Italy's all about those prime ingredients, taste the flavors of the ingredients. Okay. And I plated oh, one for you. What about the this basic the tip about product. buying the artichoke at the supermarket? What are you looking for when you look at the meats yeah. and the outside? Ni nice, fresh, not too much, you know, sometimes not they're brown. Not too brown, you, yeah. You want them nice okay. and green and fresh. And you can tell when the artichoke is done, when it starts to fall apart. Oh. And you see the bread all sucked mm -hmm. into the leaves, and you got some mm. juice. And then from the grana padana, I made like a frico. I just took grana padana in the oven, that looks baked amazing. it, and made like a... I look Guana like a Padana. waffle cone. I didn't know that was the cheese. Potato chip. It's ah. like the potato chip of Italy. this is beautiful. You could use this as a centerpiece. Yeah. You're gorgeous. And you could even eat it. It's yes. absolutely delicious. So, so, okay. so to eat these, you just pull them out. Okay, cool. right? Okay. And then just. Would you like to pull? I'm gonna watch watch you because okay. I'm not. And then you, eat the, and then you okay. eat, the, eat the leaves. Can I have a little bit of this? You can have a little frico okay. right there. Okay. Mm. Now I'm pulling this out. Now you taste the flavor of the artichoke, the olive oil, the bread, the stuffing. You taste everything there, and that's. What Italy is all about. That is excellent. You Come know, when I travel too. through Italy, I get to eat, drink Italy. Here, put them right over here. Oh my gosh, yeah. that they're was good. so good. Put it on the other plate. So oh, while look at you. I know. Go ahead. That's breakfast. Know. Breakfast in America. You know what I want to talk about? I was telling you, lamb. My family is yes. Greek. We had Easter yesterday, and mm. this looks, sorry, so much better. Oh, okay. This looks this delicious. Is oh, they're not watching. I know. So what I do is. I like to be outside. I don't like to sit around and watch yeah. it roast all day. All That's day. old school. That's Listen, for old school Greek right, people. That, <laughs> so, so we want to cook something really fresh. So I cook these lamb chops in the in a saute pan. You okay. can do them on the grill. I marinated them overnight with garlic, rosemary, thyme, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Mm. And I just hit them in the pan. They're called scottadito. Why? Because in Italy, they tried to steal them from the pan and they burn their fingers. So it means burnt fingers, right? So then when these are done, cooked rare in the middle, perfect. I made a fennel salad with orange and Sicilian olives. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Right? That looks beautiful. So, and then Let me move over put, so you put can that down it. and I'm going to show you scotto mm -hmm. I'm going to burn my fingers. No, oh, don't, 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 I'm going to burn my fingers for you. Beautiful. And I would just... Lay the chops. You know, you hear sometimes Delicate. if you don't put uh, tin foil on the bone, it chars. Is it no. different in the pan versus uh, on the grill? The pan, no, you don't. You don't need have to worry that. about that. And then a little fennel to finish. <gasps> wow. And then I might finish wow. it with a little bit of olive oil. Wait, like can this? I just say something really quick? This looks too good to eat. I mean, no, honestly, you eat it's this. a beautiful you eat presentation. This. My goodness. Absolutely, frico is great. Uh -huh. So the lamb chops, and then I bought three mm. wines, which I think celebrate Italy. Okay. The first. Which I have two glasses because I started to drink oh, one. No so you guys have to share. Okay. Uh, so the first is uh, me and that. Like let me try it. I'll yeah. try the rosé. It's mm -hmm. a rosé sparkling, and it's from the Veneto region. It's a indigenous varietal grapes. Mm. It's a great way to start a meal, and I would eat it with any one of these. Th with the artichoke or the lamb chops. This is a I light, like the beautiful. Luca. I love the finish. Yeah, yeah, this is Everyone great. Everyone thinks they have to go to France for Ooh, something sparkling. I that go to Italy lovely. every single day of the week. Quality, <laughs> value, it's all about Any Italy. Any time, yeah. Mm -hmm. The second wine, we all, oh, your white wine already. You <laughs> stole the white wine glass. Olivia Faluga, it yes. just tastes delicious. Right, so this is Friulano. It's okay. a local indigenous varietal, all stainless steel fermented. It's mouth-watering acidity, but gro go great with the lamb. And these wines have a little bit of an almond aftertaste, which you might be tasting right there. Why yes? One of my favorites from mm -hmm. uh, Friuli, Livio Faluga. And the last wine, 
is Brunello de Montalcino. Elise Hostin, oh, hi! Elise, yeah, yeah. Elise! Elise, Elise here she's back. Elise, Elise. heard that there was some wine here. I did. Yeah, I cleanse your palate. Cheers, indeed. And I want to try That's exactly what I heard, and so here I am. So the last wine is Castello de Roma Torrio, oh. Brunello de Montalcino. In Italy, they say there's three big Bs. Okay. Barolo, Bulgari, and Brunello. Okay. This is 100% Sangiovese. <laughs> and the cool thing about this, one of the famous contemporary artists of Italy, Sandro Chia, owns the winery, and his labels are all the paintings of, of, oh, of his. Nice. So he How puts cool a painting on every vintage, and uh, the wines are absolutely great. If you want to age wine, this is 2008 vintage. It'll age for 20 years. Oh, we can beautiful. drink it now. Now, Vic, uh, I yes. wanted to ask you about your show, because right now, you just did this, and this was so simple, but yet, I mean, the tasting this is amazing. And when impressive. can we watch your show? Yeah, and um, tell us about it. You okay. go to Italy? Yes, so the second season is coming back. Uh, in July mm -hmm. on Create TV and on public television and it's all shot in Italy and the show is Vic eating and drinking Italy. It's a hard job. Oh, they chose me to do it. Yeah, I, even I, if you I, were poor, poor to come and uh, style the table for you. You're tapping his belly. But, uh, all he's doing is saying it's a good meal. Yeah, it's, and it's a, it's a great time. It's a great show and oh, really, really exploring Italy and the diverse regions. It's the most diverse country in the world. Oh. From the south, Sicily, 150 miles off of Africa, mm -hmm. all the way to the north where we have blonde-haired, blue-eyed, German-speaking people. Oh. So really, Italy is so diverse and they're... You're going to have to come back and cook some more for us. I'll cook you any to show time us. Here. I'll cook Bravo, anytime. Thank you for being thank here. You. Don't forget to check out Eat, Drink, Italy. It's Saturdays on PBS. Check your local listings for times. And if you're in Jersey, check out the menu at Basil Tea's Brewery and Italian Grill and Undici Taverna Rustica. Very good. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Italian. No, All right, let's cheers, ladies. All right, and gentlemen, you know, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Really ah, quickly. Yes. That really does it. Yeah. Our show so today. cheers, forecast actually it's cheers worthy this forecast. Yeah. 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 We start the week is cheers worthy, mostly sunny, 64 degrees today, warmer tomorrow, but with increasing clouds, and you will need the umbrella late on Tuesday. And if you drink wine, the forecast is always good. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. cheers. Bye, Have a great guys. Monday, everyone. Cheers. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. I want another yeah. piece of that artichoke. That's yeah. what yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much.